So today we're gonna answer the question that we've always wanted to be answered. Can you play Morrowind if every door leads to a random location? Cue all the comments being like, of course you can play it, you can still play the game. You must be fun at parties. So the mod we're checking out today is aptly named the Door Randomizer. Now the thing about this Door Randomizer mod is I've known about it for a bit, but the last time I tried it, the mod wasn't working right. It was a little outdated by the time I got to it, so I kind of shelved the idea of the Morrowind Door Randomizer video. But then a good friend of the channel by the name of Kingcraft, very good Elder Scrolls and Morrowind videos in particular, I'll link it down in the description. Kingcraft went to the mod creator and said to him, uh, your mod's not working, and the mod creator updated it to work, so um, <laughs> it was as easy as that. So now we have a proper door randomizer, and it works. So we're gonna go head first into the Morrowind door randomizer. This is like one of the first times I properly made like a mage character for this kind of video, because I think it suits well. I went with a sort of battle magey sort of build. I feel like that's the best thing to go about this kind of challenge, because I'm going in with no items or anything. We're gonna have to source our items in the random locations that we go to. You. And I'm pretty sure this door randomizer also works for Solstheim and Mournhold. So this is probably going to be one of the most interesting and difficult challenges we've had on the channel yet. I can't wait to give it an old crash bash. I like that game, it was pretty fun. So anyway, we're going to dive into the door randomizer. We're just going to keep darting from location to location, kind of like in a survival mode. See how we can hold up. Can we take on the challenges before us? And I'll see you in the video. Mwah. There you go. <laughs> You get a kiss. I don't know why, because I was feeling nice. That's why YouTubers get cancelled. <laughs> alright, so here we are into the mod. Alright. I just said alright. We'll spend the night together. Wake up and live forever, Farragat. You want to live forever? I want to live with you. I love you. You're a nice fella. Aren't they supposed to start the video? Stop falling for men. I've told you this before, Michael. You can't keep falling for men before starting your YouTube videos. People don't like it. That woman is just walking into a tree. Good old Morrowind. I've never seen her walk outside the city this far. Maybe she's become aware. You want something, friend? Are you gonna help her? I think you know her. Are you friends with her? She's having a long ponder on her life. Anyway, so I'm briefly gonna go over my character. I've made a Breton for the first time in this channel's history. His face almost looks too real, but not real at the same time. His water up with his ears. He has cauliflower ears. I never knew he he was a boxer. He was a boxer in the Fallout 2 fighting arena. Remember that? That was pretty cool. So I've taken major skills like destruction, heavy armor, medium armor. I probably shouldn't have taken two armor skills in major, but whatever. It's it's too far along. All right. Uh, <laughs> Restoration and long blade. I probably should have picked short blade because we actually have a spell for bound dagger, which is short blade, and I don't have any short blade, and my short blade skill is five. But never mind. We have long blade skill and we have destruction and restoration, so I think that'll be pretty handy for this challenge. We also have axe and marksman and merchantile and all that. So I haven't taken any items from the introduction. I've just taken the gold Solus Gravius gave us, took the engraved ring of healing. I didn't take the iron dagger or the flint or anything else. We're just gonna charge right in. I have to get all my items in the random locations we're spawned into. So it's pretty much a survival kind of deal and we're gonna see how we do. Probably terrible, but look. So I'm going to bind all my magic stuff. That's gonna be pretty useful. Heart heal. Oh, I also have dragon skin. Oh, that's pretty good. I have to remember I have that ability. Shield plus 50 is pretty useful. All right. Here's our first door. We're gonna go into our Rills trade house, but it's not actually gonna be a Rills trade house. Where is it gonna spawn us to? Don't be Soul Stimer Mournhold. Don't be Soul Stimer Mournhold. Hold on a second. Oh, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Oh, okay, so it didn't work the first time, but it worked when we exited. So the mod is working. What the heck was this? Where is this? I think this is tribunal. I'm pretty certain. Okay, well, we failed. We died instantly. Okay. So we need to go into a rills. Okay, and then we exit the rills. And now we're fine. Oh, we're in an ash storm. Where are we? I'm in Red Mountain. Are you joking? How am I supposed to find a door to fucking transport to? I also can't go back through the door I just came from because that's a bit cheating, I think. So that's a new rule. I think. I don't know. We're, we're gonna see. I'm making up the rules as I go along because I'm terrible at planning. And I think it's kind of fun to make them up on the spot anyway. Or I'm just too lazy to plan a proper video. It could be that, but I'm just too much of a coward to say so. I know it's gonna be a bit difficult now to see in all the fucking in all the ash. So our first two locations, I think, was an area in Tribunal and Red Mountain. So, you know, we're, we're making good strides. Okay, it's good to be playing a mage so that my spells aren't failing most of the time. 
I honestly recommend if you're playing Morrowind for the first time, being a mage actually isn't that bad. Because if you're specced out in like a Breton or a High Elf, and if you pick magical abilities as your major skills, you'll be hitting pretty often and your spells won't be failing that much. I think a spell failing is a lot more realistic than a sword hitting someone and it doesn't connect. And I don't have enough magic. I great. Do I have a sword? I have no sword. I have nothing to defend myself. I need a door. G give me a door to go through. I need something. This is a fun challenge. I'm liking this. Why can't you just send me somewhere nice? Why can't you send me to a nice place like Farragut's house so I could just sit with him and we could talk about her life and have deep conversations until 8 o'clock in the morning. And then we realize we actually really like each other in that way and we have a kindred connection. But then we never talk again because we're, <sighs> we're modern people and we don't talk about our feelings anymore. And we never see each other again. Farragut is just that really good friend you make at a summer camp and you never see it again. There's a cliff racer behind me, but like, I don't know what he wants from me. I am going completely the roundabout direction. I just need a door to go through. What I'm thinking is we can run to the temple. I'm not going to be able to lose this cliff racer. I either need to find a cave. Like, I have no weapons or anything. I'm out of magicka. Like, what I want to do is run to the shrine at the beginning, but I think I'm dead. Did I lose the cliff racer? No, he's right on my trail. Oh, door, 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 door. Where's this door? Okay, it's up, turn, draw, up and to the right. I tied just before I got to a door. You know what? I'm gonna go south. Oh, there's a cliff racer. I'm gonna be careful now because I don't wanna be in this ash region too long. It's hard to see in the video. This is a nightmare place to be at the beginning. I can't go back through the door I came. The only time I can go back through a door I came from, if it's the only door that's there. Oh, Timmy, you're gonna kill me. Let me rest. Okay, I can heal. Actually, I wouldn't mind being attacked by a dark butthead assassin. That wouldn't be too bad. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of Red Mountain. Why am I stuck here first thing? I don't wanna be stuck in Red Mountain. How oh, will you go over? Oh, don't do this crap now. Get over the mountain. Get over the mountain. Oh, Morrowind. Okay, if I could just get out through the entrance, I'd be delighted with that. I'd be so happy. Okay, I want some new locations. Oh, the sky looks cool here. Since the ash storm has kind of went away, you can really see the red sky for what it is, and it looks kind of dope. Okay, there's the gates of Red Mountain. If I could just go back to the shrine entrance, I can teleport to a door from there. This is going awful already. I'm just level one in Red Mountain. I kind of want to do a level one Red Mountain run and just see how I can survive. Maybe. Look, we'll see. That could be interesting. Oh yeah, my character's called Mickey Bubble. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned that before. Can you tell why? Can you tell why he's called Mickey Bubble? Oh, we found the door. We found the mine. We found your name as mine. We were close to exiting Red Mountain. I think it's just down this path, but I'm actually going to chance going in here and see where we end up. Am I Vivek? Oh, I'm in a tomb. I'm in Vivek. <laughs> it's either Vivek or a tomb. Okay, we're in just a random tomb. All right, I'm going to take that shield. That's a pretty useful item. This is a fun challenge so far. I love little randomizer mods like this. There's one for Fallout New Vegas too, and we already have gear. Oh, this is fun. This would be a really fun mod with like Ashfall or something installed. Like a survival mod. That'd be really dope. Play Ashfall. It's a good Morrowind mod. Like there's a door randomizer for New Vegas. That could be a pretty fun challenge video to do. I like me randomizers. I like my mods that change up how you play Morrowind. Oh, Spear. I actually do have spear, but it's only 15. Unless we find a really good spear, I'm not going to be able to use it too much. And that's a ghost. I'm not going to be able to attack ghosts, am I? Yep. Oh, I can magic, magic. I'm a magic man. Okay, spells are OP. I've had people tell me that mages in Morrowind are pretty OP, and I never listened to them. I should have read what the door said. It said trapped. So this is a situation where there's only one door out of here. So I'm going to have to go back through the door I came. I think it's going to randomize the location again rather than bring me back to Red Mountain. I hope anyway. That door enchantment was strong. It's still hurting me. I've never seen a door trapped as strong. It's still hurting me? It's poison for five points. Can you go away? Poison. Poison. Am I dead? Poison. Are you going to go away? It's still on? How long is this enchantment? I think I'm dead. I've never seen this before. They're not supposed to last this long. Poison? Is this a glitch? Poison? I have the engraved ring of healing. We can try that. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Okay, I've never seen a door trap last that long before. What? Okay, well, we can't go any forward because the door trap is going to kill me. Well, I got my shield and my sword, so we've exhausted this zone. We have to go back out the way we came because it's the only door out of here. That's kind of the deal with Morrowind tombs. Don't bring me back to Red Mountain. Oh, I'm in 
Telmora. Oh, cool. How are you doing, bud? You're just walking into the rocks. I love the look of the helmet here, like the Telvanni guard one. Are you okay, Buzzy? All the Morrowind NPCs are just off today. I don't know what's wrong with them. They're not having a good time of it. Maybe I should have taken alchemy because there's a lot of, like, useful plants and stuff here. Maybe for, like, fatigue potions and helmet ones. Okay, since we're out in the open and it's not really that interesting, please leave me alone. I'm not feeling well. I'm diseased. You should go unless you want to catch it. Are you diseased now? What you have? Do you have ligma? Little secret. Do you have a disease secret? What's your background? I am less commoner. She's a commoner with a disease. She's well able to whistle though. Are you lying to me? Maybe she just wants me to leave her alone. That's a good way of doing it. I've never seen an NPC just straight up be like, I'm diseased, fuck off. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try going through the apothecary. I'm actually gonna wait an hour because fatigue, kind of important in Morrowind. Where do we end up? This is actually the apothecary. Okay, now we're in a random location. Telbrenora Tower Guard Post. Uh-oh. Actually, there might be cool stuff to take here. So the randomizer seems to not work all the time. I need to kind of go through in and out doors sometimes for it to work. Keep that in mind if you're using it. Hello, I can talk to you. Do you have anything to sell? From where do you hail? I'm from Brettonland. <laughs> the rock that's very high. But there's not much here. What is this about? That's unusual. It's just a room of two feckin' Bosmers. Your voices are just too high. You'd be very annoying to be around. Like, I don't think there's gonna be much I can bear her with. Do you even bear her? <laughs> Welcome, Mickey Bubble. Thank you. Heard a lot about you, Outlander. Go ahead. I usually only come out at Christmas time, but I figured I'd come out for the Morrowind door randomizer for a special occasion. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, wait. She turned around. Turn around. Oh, the Bosmers can see me, I think. What if I do this? Am I hidden? Am I hidden? I'm still not hidden. Thick. There's a note here. I've had enough of this. Tell that rotten old hag to find another charity next time. Oh, very charitable. Nice fella. I'm listening. Yeah, there's no way I can sneak here. Okay, let's see where we teleport to now. Alright. Oh, for God's sake. No, 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 no. Well, how am I gonna escape this predicament that I put myself into? I'm getting the worst location spawns. All right, go. Talbernor. Oh, I actually exit out the proper area. Oh, it's a different location. Wait, is this like Moon Moth? All right, all right, all right. It's very foggy. I don't think the NPCs are working today if they work yes. any day at all. You can do it, but it's only stairs. You learned to go down them as a baby, didn't you? Were you rich enough to have stairs? Probably not. Oh, no wonder. He probably only lives in bungalows his whole life. Poor fella. He's just scared of stairs. Anyway, I just took damage and died. Okay. Here's our next location. I just want to go to a place where I can get some good gear. That's all I want in life. This is a Daedric Shrine. I'm not going to be able to take her down, am I? Well, she's wearing steel armor. I do have shield. If I can take her down, this could work in our favor. Alright, come here. Are you going to attack me? Oh, you're a mage too. Oh, you take a lot of damage. Oh, you do too much damage. You do too much damage. Damage too much, you do. Oh, there's loads of enemies around. Take the glass. Take the glass dagger, whatever you do. Now run, run. Get out, get out. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. What I might do is I might take the glass dagger and then book it back towards the entrance. Remember when I said we can't go out the door we came through? Well, I'm ending up in a lot of areas where there's only one entrance. So run around, get the dagger. The dagger's worth a crap ton, so if I can sell it. Okay, go back out, go back out. No, no, don't die, don't die. You have healing, you have healing. Use it, use it. Damn it. You have healing, use it. Good lad, good lad. Exit out. Now, is there effect gonna wear off or am I? I'm outside the Daedric Shrine. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back in so we can actually get a random location. Wait, can I rest here? There's enemies nearby. Hello, Turek. Actually, you know what? I was gonna make use of you, but since this isn't like an actual random location, kind of cheating. Are we in an egg mine? Sinabi. Can I actually loot stuff here? Is there cool things? Listen, I need something to go in my favor. If I could spawn in a good place with really good items, you know, we, we'd be doing well, we'd be doing well. I'd be pretty happy. Oh, there's stuff here. There's crates and things. Bye, Rat, will you cast a spell? You cast, there you go. You really put up a good fight. Now, are you bandits or what? Are you gonna attack me? Are you people? You're people, aren't you? Oh no, you're in combat. Oh, you're strong. You're a strong individual, aren't you? I'm just gonna steal from the crates and see what we can get. Good stuff. Good stuff on DC's soul trap. Nice helmet for you. Where that? Kite and Curus. Flynn, that's all good stuff. More soul gems. Okay, some Greaves. That's good, that's good. We're getting some defense. 
There's good items here. Just don't get spotted. Don't get spotted. We have some armor. Some bracers. Some more scrolls that we can sell for good stuff. Loads of flint. Very good. Cyrodiil brandy. Very good. We store strength. I must have a high alchemy skill because I can see, like, effects of potions. It's 15. If I can find a mortar and pestle, alchemy wouldn't be a bad call. Restore agility, fortify strength, some gauntlets, some more bracers, moon sugar. If I come across a Khajiit, I guess I'll use the moon sugar. I'm gonna risk going deeper into this area. We've gotten some decent gear already. Let's see what else we can find. It's a pretty good tomb, or a cavern, or cave, whatever. You're a fool. <laughs> Maybe I am the fool. Okay, so that place is a no-go. Oh, there's really good loot there. He's way too strong, though. He's way too strong. There's another doorway outside here we can go around. I'm loving this challenge so far, by the way. It's really fun, even though I'm doing absolutely terribly. Because we're spawning in some pretty high-level zones, to be fair. Oh, you saw me, didn't you? Shite. Yeah, I think I just have to run out of here now. Great. Alright, I've gotten my good loot. He's following me with poison. I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that. Okay, this is the actual entrance. Well, let's just go back in and get teleported to a new land. Will you stop with the Daedric Shrines? You're pretty strong, aren't you? Do you have good gear, though? Do you have good stuff here? I'm just gonna start jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Jump, jump, jump. Yeah, they're too strong. Let's go to the next area. I just, a, a nice beginner zone would be fantastic. That's the exit. Where the feck am I? Am I inside the Ministry of Truth? I am. I'm not supposed to be here. This is bad. This is bad. This is actually a terrible place to end up. That was a horrible roll to Ministry. You go there for the main quest to break Mera Milo out. Oh, I'm just back here. <laughs> this is going well. It's fun though. I'm enjoying it. I'm in the Odai Plateau. Where is that slave? This stinks, Arak. Well, at least I'm somewhere calm now. Oh, look! Kark! Karkbull, that's where I'm from! Karkbull Barrel. <laughs> okay, we can rest here, actually. I kind of want to be attacked by the Dark Brotherhood. You're not the Dark Brotherhood. Unless you were. Do you think these fellas were sent by the Dark Brotherhood? I'd say they would be. Because getting their armor would be pretty useful. To sell, get some potions. I know where we are. We're just before Balmora. Now, there's another egg tomb outside here, which I think we can go in. Egg mine, egg tomb. When I die, bury me in a big egg tomb. Have Quarmer Forgers gared in my body. So we're gonna go in here and see where we end up next. Please send me to a nice cool little dungeon where I can get some good loot and stuff and actually be in an okay position to do things. Am I close to a level? Not even. <laughs> I'm not even one up. I'm not even one up. We're not close to leveling up at all at all. There's a miner's pick. I don't know. <laughs> there it is. Will you fucking teleport me to a new place? Okay, well, the egg mine's not gonna work to teleport us to a random location. Alright, fair. So, the mod is still a bit finicky, at least with the original Morrowind engine, which is what I'm using. I don't know if it actually works better with Open Morrowind, and if that is the case, then that's my bad. There's another tomb up here, actually. I just look like a Tuscan Raider. I say that so many times, and that's very much the inspiration, I would imagine, for this armor set, but just Tuscan Raider Morrowind. Will this take us to a random zone? Please do. Get your fatigue up. Okay, I was worried the randomizer wasn't working for a second, but it is. Okay, let's go inside here. We're just uh, in this fishing village. I can't make use of any of the merchants here, though, because they're all inside, I would imagine. I had the glass dagger to sell. That's worth a bit of bob. Will you bring me to a new land? Oh, this could be useful. Ooh, there's the Redoran Council Hall. Oh, please tell me I can sneak around, G. Can I? Sort of. Oh, oh, I wasn't sneak there for a second. Oh, you've good stuff. You've decent stuff. There's too many people here. Feck, there's no like other doorway or anything. I can take those, those are mine. <laughs> Feck he. I got what I wanted. <laughs> He's just been <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm just in this manor area. Alright. Okay, we're definitely in Aldrun, right? Yes we are. Ba -da -bum. Ba -da -bum. Is this gonna actually just teleport me somewhere? Okay, well it's not <laughs> Okay, here we go. We spawned into an ancestral tomb. We can actually make some work out of this. Firebite. Okay, well, my fatigue is low, but I'm gonna try and defeat you. Hopefully you're not very strong. Please don't be. What's my difficulty on? It should be normal. Yeah, difficulty's on normal. Cast a spell. There we go. I'm defeating ghosts and stuff. I could take them down at least. That was a corpse. All right. Fire salts. Oh, this is all good stuff. 
frost damage. Ooh, good things, good things, good things, good things are in our favor. Restore health, good loot. Iron Saber, eh, that's alright. That's not bad. Bit dark in here, but your luck. <laughs> not a bone walker. Please tell me you're a lesser. If he's a lesser, we're fine. If you're a regular bone walker, we're screwed. He was a regular bone walker, we're screwed. Is there actual good loot here? Like, I'm not gonna be able to visit a temple to restore my strength. Yeah, fuck that, that sucks. I'm reloading. I am not fighting a bone walker and getting my strength completely lowered. Fuck that, but I'm getting out of here. We got some scrolls. I am out here. I'm not getting my strength damage. I don't care. Am I in Urshilaku? Zanib. Alright. Or Zainab. Whatever. I'm gonna go visit the feckin' the Yurks, man. Y'all live in the Yurks. Asher Dan. That's how the Irish introduced their friend Dan. Asher, that's Dan. <laughs> it's the worst joke I've ever made. Hello. Your door's not randomizing. You wanna get that fixed? Oh, what do you want? What about hospitality? I didn't know you were a doctor. Travelers are always welcome here, Outlander. All that is required that you speak the knack with courtesy. They're very nice. Do so you have any Huey Lewis in the news? Thank you for sharing these tales and rumors. For our part, we have little news. We hear other tribes are troubled by blight. They're very nice. I like them. Do any of your doors randomize? Oh yeah, this one does. Run more and hold. The vacant manor. Oh, this is empty. Ooh, because it's called vacant. There might be good stuff here. Or shite. Like salt rice. The common tongue. Quarmer eggs. Urn hacklow leaf is very good. I haven't encountered many merchants. You said this place was vacant. What are you gawking at? You've no business here, Breton. I suggest you turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely. He's kicking me out already. I don't recall inviting you to discuss the issue. You can't be trusted to keep walking. Don't keep threatening me. All right. I'd kite and curious. You don't want to mess with me. <laughs> I can rest here. All right. All right. We can talk. I can talk with her. Look, I'm not in charge. Talk to Dover. I was told to talk to you. Cliffs of Dover. Are you powerful? Do you think I could take you? You seem kind of weak. I'm gonna chance us. They're very strong. They're pretty tough. <laughs> I'm gonna loot upstairs if you don't mind. Alright, just go, just go. I'm gonna wait 24 hours because I still have my power activated. Oh, there's nothing else here. I only got salt rice and stuff here, fine. Uh, great, alright. I'm in Sadanine. <laughs> I'm back to the beginning. I'm back to the intro. This game is trying to tell me your class is shit. Make another one. Yeah, I don't think the census office is randomized because otherwise you won't be able to make a new character if you're beginning the game. Can I just go back to a Rills or back in Sadanine? I believe the randomizer only starts to kick in after you make a character. Here's Sadanine in the sunset. Doesn't it look very good? Anyway, I'm gonna go back into the lighthouse and see what's going on. I have. That's my cover of the song. Will you feckin' bring me to somewhere new? Yeah, see? A virus grave. That's great. Someone's dead here. Die. There's an assassin. I spoke to Well, you can cast that. Oh, you're kind of strong. Vegan Battle Mage is cool. Is there like any negatives to wearing heavy armor as a Battle Mage? Why is my light armor skill going up and nothing else? There's my destruction going up. We're actually getting skills. Where's his corpse? Oh, there he is. It's hard to see him in all the fog. There you go, I got all this good stuff. Like, I know in Oblivion there's like a spell effectiveness system if you're like wearing armor and it makes your spells less effective as the name goes. Is there any system for that in Morrowind? Because I don't think there is. Unless there actually is. I don't know. It's been foggy for four days straight. I want to see where I'm going. Yeah, there you go. We're moving very slowly now because I just have so much armor and stuff to sell that I <laughs> can't find any merchants to sell them to. This is a nightmare so far. It's fun, but it's a nightmare. Oh, we're in areas of lava and stuff. Okay, I guess I have to go to this Daedric Shrine and find a new door and get teleported to a whole new zone. I want to find good items. Like, I just want to get teleported like a good tomb or a good manor in like Mournhold or Solstheim or something and just find really good stuff that we can just pillage. If I get teleported to Solstheim, I could probably go behind the meat hall and take all the good stuff there because there's some good loot and things. I can't even get to the shrine because there's so much lava and I can't get over the mountain but I can kind of go over this way I guess. This is a nightmare. I'm moving so slow. I need to sell some stuff quick. I love the Morrowind default movement speed. It's very quick. All right, there's the entrance. Oh, we could probably go to somewhere new there. <laughs> Whenever I do the oh, when a character skill gets enabled. That's from feckin... There's a creator from way back by the name of GixG17 and he probably made the most entertaining Morrowind Let's Plays of the time. They're very old now going back, but I was so obsessed with that series when I was younger. That was like my first foray into Morrowind content. And whenever a skill would level up, he would go, oh, along with it. And uh, I've just kept that up for how many years now? Hi, Rat. I'm going to actually use my sword for once. It's pretty effective. That was like the world's most shy Pokemon fight ever. 
As in chat, this is right deserved to be- Oh, I'm in Ghost Gate, not again. I thought I said the Tower of Doom. That would've been cooler. Actually, there might be merchants here. Yeah, we're in like the shrine area just before the entrance. Just on the entrance, rather, right? Barter, do you sell potions? You have to get rid of that moon sugar. Fine, I'll eat it. There. That's pretty metal. You sell potions? Okay. Will you buy my alchemy stuff? Oh, you'll buy my flin and cerdelk brandy. I might keep the fortified strength buffs. Hacklow egg, salt rice. Do you buy scrolls? Please buy scrolls. It does not buy scrolls. Someone else might buy scrolls here. Restore agility, strength. I'll keep agility and strength because those are pretty useful. Like if I come across another bone walker, fortify strength, I'm gonna keep. Do you buy armor? No. Do you buy soul gems? No. Do you buy daggers? No. 200 gold. How much healing do you have? Do you have any healing? Cheaps. I'll take some cheaps and some fatigue. And fortifies, I guess. Okay, bye now. Take care now. Bye bye then. Oh, this is cool. I like this. I like the light on my Sarah. Yes, sir. <laughs> You've been smoking too much. You've been smoking too much ash. Is it ash or hash? Either one. Either one. There has to be other merchants here. Hello. Oh, do you sell scrolls? Do you sell more potions? Buy my scrolls. Buy my scrolls. Buy my scrolls. Bollocks. Well, you have common disease. That could actually be pretty useful. They're actually kind of cheap, all things considered. Standard restore healths. They're quite expensive, but look, I'll take all your cheaps. Okay, well, I'll take back some of the cheaps. Here we go. I got some selling and bartering in now. If there's somebody here who buys armor and scroll, that would be immensely useful, but I don't think there is. Yeah, there's not. Fuck. All right. Where are we going to end up now? I'm in a shrine. I'm in a temple. Ooh, actually, wait. That's where I was supposed to be. Yeah, it's not randomizing the location. Okay, now it is. It takes a few goes. Are we in the warehouse in St. Denis? No, we're in Caldera. The Caldera Mining Guard Tower? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I know where we are. I think you find evidence here for a quest. No to Caldera Guard and there's no spaces at all. Keep an eye on the Argonian called Gold Hair. Yeah, there's like a quest here. You have to find like Argonians mutinying. There's a ledger. Oh, there's good chain stuff here. I'm gonna take that all. That is very goes armor. There's eggs and stuff. I'm kind of sick of eggs, I'll be honest. Ooh, what's this? Shock damage, 1 to 25. Pretty good. I'm gonna forget to use it and probably sell it. My character is just gonna move all the more slowly now. Are we in Maragan or Vivek? Vivek, alright. Fair enough. Is this the slowest the Morrowind character has ever moved ever? I think so. To be fair, my speed is tersey off. The speed for Bretons is very slow indeed. Let me jump up. Jump up, jump up and get up. Jump. Up. Uh, hello. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to jump into the water. See, it's safe. You don't have to worry about me. What is it, citizen? Okay, I'm gonna go around this way and just jump over here. I can't even get over the wall. Teleport me to a cool new land. Just teleport me to a tomb where I can do some fighting, some good looting, get some good stuff. That's what I want. I forgot, so where am I? Mount Cand? I don't even know where these places are. Mount Cand, okay. I'm gonna drop the kite and stuff. I'm just moving too slow and the saber. Now we're moving a little faster, but not by much. <laughs> now it's just getting very calming. It was pretty difficult at the start and pretty chaotic, but now it's just kind of relaxing a bit. This is just a world tour of Morrowind. This is the most I've ever explored Morrowind in one video, and that's pretty impressive. I'm a mage, aren't I? <laughs> His eyes are just barely in between the helmet. That's great, bud. You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. We're all proud of you. I'm just checking my phone out because my character is so slow at moving. It's like, what else can I do? I just want a doorway. Just bring me somewhere. Oh, there's a Silt Strider. Are we near town? What town are we near? It's not Saran. No, it's definitely not. It's Margan. Come on and slam. And welcome to Margan. Oh, Malagmer. I keep conf confusing Margan. Margan's like up here, right? <laughs> I think, yeah. Malagmer. This is like fake shit, Vivek. The only reason I know of this town is because if you spawn here, you can go to a tomb up above where there's like a Daedric Daikatan or pretty close by. It's a pretty OP weapon to start off with. Hi Khajiit, I had moon sugar earlier for you, but I ate it. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have told you. I got your hopes up for nothing. I tend to do that a lot with people in general. Will I get randomly teleported if I go through the sewers? Maybe I will. The Morrowind Trapdoor Randomizer, the epic sequel. Okay, I'm actually in the sewers. This is what I was worried about. <laughs> oh wait! Tursk! Oh, this is exactly where I wanted to be. There's good stuff behind her. Isn't it Tursk? I'm pretty sure it's Tursk, right? Where's the tree stump? Oh, please be Tursk. <gasps> I think it is, I think it is, I think it is. Oh, this is perfect! This sword is really weird in that it casts chameleon. Unlike the enemies you're fighting, it's strange, but it's pretty powerful. Ebony arrow is ridiculously good. Fortify sneak, 20 points. Ridiculously good. Nice eye, marksman. Fortify security. I'm gonna drop my other swords, because fucking who needs them? 
oh, we have good shit now. But now we need to find a new door to go into. This is gonna be painful. If I can just find another tomb or something. Because I can't go back through into Tursk. So it's Blood Moon at level 1 all over again. I'm gonna be reminded why Blood Moon is so difficult. Okay, there's a place over there. That's an area, right? Yeah, I think that's the North Town. Oh wait, isn't that where all the Ricklings are? But if I can just get into the door, I should be safe. I'll be teleported somewhere, hopefully safer. Or if we find any tomb along the way. That looks like it could be a cave entrance, actually. Is it? There's like a break in that rock. Salt Slime is looking beautiful. Oh, look at all the Horkers and everything. They're just going about their day. I forget if the Horkers actually attack you. Let's find out. Let's do a bit of experimentation. They probably do. Hey, buddies. How are you doing? You enjoying life? You happy out? Oh, they're passive. Oh no, they're not. Fuck <laughs> I thought they were passive. Okay, there might actually be a tomb along here, even though it doesn't really make sense since there's like ice and water here, but look, we'll see. Look, Morrowind is a magic land, okay? It doesn't need to make sense. Oh, there's Ricklings. I don't want to encounter them. Yeah, I don't think there's any cave entrances here. But it does look pretty. It looks very pretty. Oh, you can actually go properly into the water and it looks pretty deep. I am not exploring the water right now. See, this looks like it could be an entrance to something. Just jumping everywhere. It's going very slow up moving. Okay, it's not. Let's just get to this meat hall, I think, up here. There's Ricklings down along the way. More Horkers, but I don't think they're gonna catch up to me. Doorway? Anything? Anywhere? No. Pfft. Okay, if I can just go around the Ricklings, maybe. Actually, there's a whole North Fortress up there. There's like a town all the way up there, too. I should be running south. We'll probably come across like a tomb entrance or something that we can go into. There's the Plague Wolves. These wolves always have disease. They're not fun to deal with. I just need a door entrance. I need anything. I'm completely exposed out here, but we have some good gear now. So that's something. If I can go back to mainland Morrowind, we'll be in good shape. We'll be in really good shape. This sword is OP. Just any door, anything, any entrance, anywhere, anything at all. I probably miss one. I definitely miss one. It's me who's playing. There could be one up there, but there's bears and stuff. I'm just going to run all the way south. I could try and run to Uncle Sweet here. That could be the goal we do. Okay, let's try and find Uncle Sweetcher's house. There's bears and wolves. I don't want to fight bears and wolves. They'll give me disease. I have cure disease and stuff, but you know. There's more bears. Is that an entrance? That could be a tomb entrance. Oh, get me out of here. Get me out of Soul Slime. Get me out of Soul Slime. It is. Perfect. Get me in. Get me in. Get me in. Gron. It's called Gron. Get me out of Gron. Bring me somewhere cool. Oh, for God's sake. <coughs> well, we have better defense here. Oh, I should have rested. All right, come here, boys. You're going to go invisible. See, this sword is pretty OP. Pretty powerful. There might be another doorway around here, actually. Just keep looking towards the local map. Do you think I'm ready to fight Dagother? I think I am. Door? Door? Get me out of Red Mountain. I don't want to be in Red Mountain. I don't want to be here. This place stinks. Okay, keep walking. It's just a cliff racer. See, this sword is pretty powerful, but it makes the enemies invisible. It's a weird effect, but I kind of like it. It's a bit out there. I know it's really hard to see right now at the moment. That's why I'm trying to get out of here as quick as I can. Oh, great. I it. Here's another corpus. Bean. Oh, I think because he's hit with chameleon, that means I actually can't hit him effectively. Like, it's harder to hit if he's invisible. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Oh, that's annoying. Let's test it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening here. But the sword is pretty powerful on the first strike, so... You have too much armor, I'm not gonna take that right now. Doorway. Anything. You're too strong. Need to take my healing. This sword is really good. That was so lucky to spawn a Tursk. Like earlier I was saying, if we spawn a Tursk that'd be pretty useful because there's good stuff back there. Maybe I can run all the way up there and we just spawn right outside. Like I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay, where the feck am I going? I just need a doorway. Anything. Is this an entrance to somewhere? I can't see anything at all. Uh, I might go along this bridge. Yeah, I think this is an entrance to some... I think this is an entrance to somewhere. If I can jump over here, we'd be in good graces. Just get over, just get over, just get over, just get over. I rested and now it's a deeper res. That's very foreboding. I can't get up to the bridge. I wouldn't be able to jump across even if I could. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just get me out of here. It's too... I can't see. We're along the ring of Ghost Gate. That's fantastic. Exactly where I want it to be. Jump up, jump up. Just jump up. I'm so sick of being here. I'm so over it. Oh great, use your magic. Don't fail your magic. Don't fail your magic, I said. Don't fail your magic. Come on. Come on, stop failing. 
But something else was attacking me. That was that was a brutal fight. That was a fucking annoying fight to go through. Just run. Give me anything. Give me any entrance. Oh fuck off. I just need to run out of here. Just keep jumping. Jumping sideways. Very quick. Very fast. Oh, they're chasing after me. Just give me anything. A mine entrance. Any way out of here. I just want a cool tomb or a town to explore. Just give me anything. Bring me back to Solstheim if you want. This is just painful. Okay, there's barricades along here. The ash storm has stopped, so maybe I can see entrances to anywhere. Any mine entrance. Maybe I should stay along the road. By the nine divines, stay on the road. It's the Quarmer Forgers, you see. Oh, come on. And the ash storm is starting to get great. This is exactly what I wanted in life. I'm not going to be able to get over this bridge, am I? Well, maybe. I actually might be able to. God, it just got blood red out of nowhere. The ash storm is vibe, but like, not when I can't see. Okay, I should be able to jump over here. Oh, that's not that bad. That's only a teeny jump. There's an entrance we can get out of here. Just bring me somewhere cool. Like, cool. Bring me to cool. Bring me, just bring me to cool. I want to go to cool. The door randomizer is not working here. No, it is. It took a few tries. I'm... I'm outside Tursk again. <laughs> We're gonna go to the Nord village. <laughs> oh, the Ricklings are gonna shatter me. Oh, the Ricklings are going to destroy me if I go up around this way. Yeah, see, there's like a village up there. If I can just avoid Ricklings, we should be okay. See, there's Ricklings there. I just need to go around them. Red Mountain and Solstheim are the two areas I do not want to keep spawning in. Wait, what's this? Is this a tomb entrance? If it is, we can go through there. That's a Rickling. Oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't even see you. Just go this way, just go this way. If he catches up to me, he's gonna destroy me. Their swords are very strong. This has to be a tomb entrance, right? It's boarded up with snow. Oh, please tell me there's an entrance. Come on, work with me, game. We're pretty close to the town now. There's nothing here. Well, that's fantastic. Oh, oh, I wasted my time going over this way. Diagonal jump, just diagonal jump. That's all I can do, diagonal jump. They're close to me. They're pretty close. Can I lead them all the way to the village? God, there's so many. Okay, okay, this might actually work in our favor. This is so annoying. It's just Blood Moon again. All right, we're getting close. We're getting there. We're getting there. I can see houses. I'm actually going to lead them all into the village and see if they can fight. The Nords are residing. Sorry about the spells. They have no idea who I am at this stage. I'm just bringing in this army of Ricklings. So many. Will they even defend me? I don't think so. Hello, I brought you some friends. Oh, they're going to help me. They might actually die. Ricklings are kind of strong. Well, except that one in particular. <laughs> this guy doesn't even care. Hagrid. Hagrid! Oh, Hagrid's in feckin' Morrowind. Hi hey, Hagrid, you look better than your PS1 counterpart. That guy just did a roll. Oh, they're actually pretty strong, the Nords. Is the Rickling sword any good? It's pretty good. This sword has a thrust of 10 to 50. It sells for quite a bit. But eh, he has one gold. I'll take the one gold. That's my reward, even though I didn't do anything to help out. I'm gonna keep fighting him all. Where's that? He's going towards me. Just randomize. Just go. Just go somewhere new. Hello. Please randomize me to a new location. The Ricklings are going to kill me. Okay, we're back in Morrowind. It's so strange going from Solstheim straight back to Morrowind. It's a little jarring. Okay, there's a shrine here. Let's go through here and see where we end up. Hopefully somewhere cool. Just bring me to a tomb where I can, like, try out my new gear and stuff. There's a mud crab. Great. Am I close to a level? Not even close. Good lord, we're not going to level up this video. Oh, please swim. Please swim at a decent speed. The slaughterfish are going to attack me. The slaughterfish are more annoying than the cliff raisers. Let's go somewhere new. Hi, mud crab. I'm going to level up on you. Or try to. There we go. There's a big basket thing here. I want to use that. That looks really cool. It's like tripedal. Okay, where's the entrance here? Just bring me somewhere new. Oh, I'm next to Vec. Huh. I never knew there was a ruin, like, really close by. The more you know, the more you know I'm learning about the geography. Okay, just where's the entrance to this place? It's not on the local map. I think this place is actually pretty close to the Mudcrab Merchant. I'm pretty sure it is, we're not too far. In fact, if it is, I could sell my dagger and stuff I have. Actually, yeah, I think, where's the Mudcrab Merchant? He's really close here. I think he's over here. Right? I'm pretty sure. We could just run back to Sarandon after. Right, he's around here somewhere. Oh, I think he's over here. Oh no, there he is. I think that's him. Oh, I can sell all my stuff to him. And we can actually get running at a decent speed. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. I'd love that. The Mud Crab Merchant of Venice. Here you are, bud. I have loads of stuff to sell you and he sells Sujama. I'm taking some of that. There you go. I have 7,000 gold now. Actually, is there more stuff I can sell you? He has more Sujama. I'll take more of that. I'll only take six. I won't go too fucking strong on the strength buffs. Alright. 
You can have that. Bye, merchant. Mwah. I just kissed you on the shell. There's a door here. We'll just go through this tomb and see where we teleport to. I'm not even moving that much quickly. But I have loads of gold and stuff if I actually find a merchant. That'd be great, actually. We're a little overpowered, sort of. Well, for level one, at least. We have some decent gear. We're not exactly overpowered, but you know. There we are. Bye, Slaughterfish. Just bring me some... I just... I've been through so much today in this video. It's an evening time. Just give me some final few places of worth. I'm in, I'm in Sanus. I'm in Sanus town. I'm in a shrine. Can I take on the enemies here? Maybe. There might be good stuff here. My sword is out of charge, but it's still pretty powerful. Just land your hits. That'd be great. It's pretty dark in here. Let's give me some good loot. Maybe I should be walking so I can actually save my fatigue and get some hits in. This place is creepy. There's static tights and everything. Tights means it's going down. Well, <laughs> my strength is completely destroyed. You know, I'm just gonna... Can I even get back up? I can't get back up to where I was. My journey is not ending here. Oh, no, no, no. I can't go back out. What do I do? I'm gonna have to kill that bone walker. Can I go all the way back and rest? I need to rest to get my fucking... To give my weapon some charge. I'm gonna have to kill that bone walker. He's gonna damage my strength. I only have one restore strength potion. Oh, we're gonna be screwed. I can rest until healed. I'm gonna rest... I'm gonna west. Actually, my weapon is pretty full on enchantment, so. There's the bone walker. Hit him. It's of the essence. Oh, my strength wasn't even damaged. But well, that was lucky. We can keep going. Is there a doorway or entrance out of here? Because otherwise, I'm screwed. Okay, there's a door here. Does this lead to a new zone? If it does, we can get out of here. The Grazelands? Is this the exit out? Well, I need that random. We're in a Daedric Ruin now again. Okay, I might be able to hold my own here. If it's not just constant Daedra. Oh, there's someone in Orcish armor. That's not good. In fact, that's actually pretty terrible. I do have Sujama. Use your strength buffs, use your strength buffs. Come on, buddy. I can take you. I have Flint too. I'm just gonna use them all. I dropped him. Oh, he's gonna hit me straight away. Oh, great. Come on, one hit. I'm pretty OP. Ooh, hoo, hoo. give me all that. Give me all that. Now we have some good armor and stuff. I'm gonna be so slow at running, but I don't care. We're OP now. This is great. Oh, this is fun. I'm gonna drop all this stuff. You'll never take me down. I'm a Breton. I'm from High Daggerfall Rock. Can you? Can you? Tomorrow when combat is great, there you go. Go down, you clown. See, now things are coming up millhouse for me. <laughs> okay, Daedra's gonna spawn here. But I'm gonna take you on, bud. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, well, the Daedra is... Or the Dreamer, rather, is pretty strong. Do you spawn if I take the spear? I do! I almost have you killed. I have Cheyenne, or Grief, Roger. Cheyenne's the dog from Fallout New Vegas. Get up, get up. Fuck! We can take down this lord. Took him down. Get some healing in. I'm actually pretty OP now. I have a really good spear, but I don't have much skill in spear. My intelligence is zero. I'm just really dumb. I'm a dumb brute. Okay. We actually took out a Daedric Shrine. Now, I could use a Daedric Spear, but my sword is pretty strong at thrust 10 to 50. It's already pretty good. And this is unhinging. 82. See, now things are working out. This one is trapped. Hopefully the trap isn't that strong. Ah, there's rubies and stuff. Ruby, 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 ruby. Can I get to like 10,000 gold? I could probably get to 10,000 gold in this challenge. We have a full set of Orcish. Armor rating is 25. I'm over encumbered by how much... Oh, my strength is damaged. Probably by the Dreamer. I have resource strength. Is that enough? Just about. Okay, I think the only way we can exit out of here is through the entrance we came from. Hello, you. Let me take your rubies. All your other stuff. That won't spawn an extra Dreamer. There are sometimes chests back here. There's none. All right, let's just exit out. It's going well now. We're pretty OP. I have no more strength buffs, though, so we're kind of screwed. <laughs> Do a bit of healing. That's mighty. All right. City of Magic. How are you doing, fake Caius? Good for the Empire. Good for all. There's I thought you went to the Imperial City. Were you lying to me? Prune-faced old witch. I'm a Breton. 
I'm not so prune. <laughs> well, I do look like a bit of a witch. This must be very traumatic for the Nervarine. Just constantly seeing this Kaya's face pasted everywhere. Just following him all the time. Let's go fight Ganor. I think I'm Reggie. Well, we can't fight Ganor today. I don't want to be a Dagoth fell. This place sucks. On your way. Fuck you. How does it feel to know death is me? Do I get a bounty for that? Nope. I have your house now. <laughs> I've just become a tyrant. There's a fat loot. Oh, it's just a normal loot. It's not a fat one. That stinks. Lots of gold. Lots of gold. Moon sugar. Oh, I see what you were at. That's why I took him down. Illegal drugs. Even though I just ate some moon sugar earlier. That's a very high hammock. Nice bit of rest. All right. Where's the last few locations we can go to? I want to be a Dagon fell. Oh, I'm in boss. Oh, oh no, this is the last place I want to be. I have to go find some other tomb entrance. Morrowind Rain is such a vibe. It honestly is. Oh, I'm so quick at swimming, aren't I? Yeah, just one, just one. I can run on this one. Go away, fish. I'm pretty strong. You should know not to mess with me. Here we are. Bye, boat. Oh, here's the Daedric Shrine. Okay, we can find somewhere to go here. Unless there's like a tomb entrance or anything? Nope. All right, we have to go to the Daedric Shrine. The Dezenans outside the Daedric Shrine shouldn't be that much of a worry. The mud crab's screaming at me. That's really loud lightning. Thunder lightning, very, very scary. All right, go through here. Here's an entrance. Bring me to somewhere cool. Where's our last final zone that I can plunder? This is a really fun way to play Morrowind if you want to change it up sometime. I highly recommend the door randomizer. Link to the mod in the description, as always, if you want to check it out. Maybe we'll like some survival mods and stuff, like I said before. It'd be pretty dope. Am I in the library in Vivek? I'm in the foreign quarter upper waste works. Great. How exciting. Wait, there's merchants and stuff here, right? You sell potions? I have loads of money. Yeah, you have restore fatigues and stuff. Bargain restore health. Could be useful. I'm over encumbered. Big crap. Actually, will you buy my ingredients? Oh, you will! Very handy. She doesn't have much gold though at all. I think you're fortified strengths, I guess. Seller max, one third to three. Great. Do you sell much? She'll buy ingredients and she doesn't have that much gold. Great. Restore health, fatigues, I'll take, I guess. Rising force, common disease, paralyzation. Not much else I need. You can have one diamond, that's probably all your money, right? Oh no, not really. There you go. I'm overcumbered again. I need to drop something, repair prongs. I kinda need to keep those. I have too much stuff. I might have to drop the spear. I have no use for it. What do you sell? She's just shaking her head at me. I would too. She doesn't have much to bear with either. Yeah, these merchants aren't very useful at all. Bye now. Where's the next zone? Where's the next zone? I'm in St. Ohms. It just teleported me somewhere else. Outlander, what do you want? You're a proper alchemist. I'm just meeting so many alchemists. Do you have any proper gold to bear, sir? 70. Cool. Do you want a plume? You can have that. 10 gold. What a steal. What a bear. Can... Ravenrock. I'm in Ravenrock, but Ravenrock's not even built. Oh, for gods, I'm sick of being spawned in Soul's time. We can try and fight the wolves. We can actually take on the wolves pretty easily. Even though we're level 1. Not even close to level 2. Okay, there's naked nords. That could be an issue. Just let me take out the wolves and bring me to Ravenrock. And then we'll go to our final teleportation zone. See, so yeah, I can fight the wolves easily. Are you just hand-to-hand? -hand? Still be an issue. Yeah, here's the crazy Nords of Solstein. They have cool helmets, like a bear helmet. I'm gonna keep that, actually. That's pretty cool. Fortify Endurance. Uh. Hit one. Just hit once. Just hit once. Just hit one. If you ever watched my Blood Moon series, this is all it was. Where's my feckin' fatigue? Use them. You have plenty. It was pretty fun to go back to it. Kind of reminds me of why I stopped Blood Moon, because it was a bit painful. But look, I'll see if I ever go back to it in the future. Who knows? Well, actually, there's a tomb entrance here. Yeah, let's go through here. If it's open. All right, where's our last zone? I think we made a good run of it for the randomizer. I've gotten some pretty decent gear, I must say. For level one, great gear. Calder. <laughs> actually, you know what? One more for luck. Where the fuck is this? Is this a tomb I can completely take down? Trapdoor, that trapdoor's gonna kill me, ain't it? Heal, heal! Get your cheap healing in. Okay, we should be alright. Anything interesting here? Anything at all? Chests. Oh, we're back near Dagon Fell again. But there might be good stuff here, hello. Vampires. They're scary. It's a very scary vampire sound. You don't encounter vampires too much. Oh, just hit him for once. Hit him, hit him, please. Please. He's absorbing all my health. 
There we go. Okay, we can try and clear out this one vampire area to end off. Okay, get me back to the entrance. These vampires are gonna be a bastard. If I can heal, we might actually be doing alright. But I don't think I can. Right? 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 Oh, I can heal! Perfect. Okay, let's take on some vampires, or try to. Actually, I'm gonna get my weapon enchantment up full. Come on. Oh, I can't rest anymore. Okay, we got some rest. Beggars can't be chosers. Vampires. Hello. I'm your new master now. A mage class was kind of cool, even though during the end of it, I just turned back into a warrior because I got a really good sword and I'm just wearing armor. <laughs> I'm wearing a full heavy armor set. I barely casted the fire spell at all. Die! I'm a mage. That's a cool voice filter for the vampires. She's pretty powerful. She's pretty strong. If I can hit her once, let's try you again. Please tell me I can take her down. All right, come over here. Come over here. I don't have much healing potions left. There wasn't much in Vivek. Oh, she's almost dead. I killed her in two hits. Oh, we're doing well. Vampire dust is worth 500. I thought it was worth 100. Maybe that's like Oblivion and Skyrim. Oh, I didn't know it was worth that much. Invocation of Azura. There's books and stuff if you want lore. You know what? I'm going to be really nice. If you want to read that book, there you go. Here's all the pages. You can pause whenever you want to read it. There you go. There's more pages. There's more of it. There's the whole book. Did you read it? If you read the book, let me know. Was that any good? If it's good, I'll read it too. There's a trap door. What's through here? Oh, there's a ton of you here. Oh, the hand-to-hand -hand guy is going to be an issue. I have one more fortified strength. Come on. Final battle. Hit him. This guy's an issue. Just kill him. Just kill him. Oh, for God's sake, he's going to bring me down. Fortify fatigue. Why not? Fortify health. Why not? Final push, come on. Fortify strength, cool. It's only a barricade, but you know. <laughs> they knocked me down straight away. Get up. Oh, okay, I need to I need to think about this. Oh, okay, I need a strategy to take him down. I need as much fatigue as I can get. The guy's stuck in the door. Good job, pal. Just give me fortify strengths. Put on the much better helmet. Hey, chameleon, for like eight seconds, okay. Fortify fatigue. Fortify health. Fortify strength but drain agility. I'm gonna go without the drain agility for now because that's a huge hit to our hit chance. Okay, I've killed him. Can I take you out? Pretty easily, I've taken out the whole den of vampires. There's a locked door there, but whatever. Cheers, all of you, for watching the Morrowind Door Randomizer. We actually ended up doing pretty well. Bit painful at times, bit fun at times, getting all the good gear. Really great way to change up playing Morrowind. Don't tell me that's going to kill me now as a way to end off. We're going to survive. I'm the master of this world. This is actually a mod video that went well in my favor. Relatively. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to download the mod, it's in the description. This was a fun one to check out. I'll see you in the next Morrowind video. My Breton mage, battle mage, warrior fella says bye. I just turned him into a warrior at the end. I was pretty lazy. Pfft.